I am in a lovely house on the southern shore of Lake Naivasha in Kenya. It's a famous house, and here's the clue. It's called Elsamir. Yes, you might remember the film from 1966, Born Free. It was made famous by the singer Matt Munro, who sung John Barry's composition, Born Free, and Beauty Surrounds You. And this is where I am. Beauty does surround us here at Elsamir. And I'm in the museum house, and I'll show you at the end of this video some of the artefacts that are worth you looking at. Now, Joy Adamson was born in Austria in 1910, and she came to Kenya, and on the way she divorced her first husband and married her second husband out in Kenya, and she had a talent for writing and for illustrating and painting, and she painted the people of all the disappearing tribes in Kenya and recorded all the wildlife. And she raised a lion cub called Elsa, and she had a very close affectionate relationship with the cub, even into her adulthood, and she was filmed cuddling and kissing the lion and feeding it and teaching it how to survive for itself in the wild. And she turned it into a book called Born Free, and she sent it to lots of London publishers, and they declined her offer. So she appeared in person at a publisher's in London and said, I'm going to present you with a bestseller. And the publisher said, we won't read this script, tell us what the story is. So once they heard the story of the raising of the lion cub Elsa, they published the book. And Born Free, in 19... 60, 1, 2, 3, sold 3 million copies. But unfortunately by then in 1961 Elsa had died. But the book was so successful in foreign languages throughout the world that a film was made called Born Free. And the film was so successful with actress, I've forgotten her name now, oh yeah, Virginia McKenna. She played Joy Adamson and she had a husband in the film, which was True Life, it was husband number three, it was George Adamson. I don't know who he was played by, I've forgotten now, but in the follow-up film, Susan Hampshire played Joy Adamson in a, form, in a film called Living Free, and the title song was sung by Nina, one of the loveliest songs you could ever hear for a film soundtrack, and that was released back in 1968, and <coughs> After that, we had a film about George Adamson called To Walk With Lions. It was played by Richard Harris. And rightly in the film, it shows Richard Harris being murdered in the film because George Adamson was murdered. And unfortunately, Joy Adamson was murdered as well. They were both very keen conservationists, and I think they were killed because they had came into conflict with poachers. But Elsamir has spawned charities around the world, and the film, the book, the songs from the film will ensure that this part of Africa remains close to people's hearts worldwide. This is the waterfront of Elsamir, and what a nice piece of real estate this will make anybody enjoy. Enjoy. Adamson would have enjoyed this view of the beautiful, serene Lake Naivasha. And these little video clips will give you an idea of where Joy Adamson lived, where she thrived off her royalties and promoted her conservation work. And it was here that she wrote her books designed her charities and this was her home when she returned to Kenya from going around the world signing books and receiving awards from various governments. This is the front garden overlooking the lake at Elsamir. And if you come here and you watch the video about the life of Joy, you'll see her walking around in this garden area 
with Elsa the lioness. This has to be one of the loveliest houses in Kenya also due to its location because right behind the camera is miles and miles of Lake Naivasha which I'll show you when I finish presenting in front of the camera and I've just watched the DVD of Joy Adamson's life and it shows you her walking around where I'm standing and behind me with the lioness Elsa and her books have spawned these films born free living free and to walk with lions as a result of a human being doing something unique and special in their life which gives them a great purpose and a vehicle to achieve success and bring notoriety to their good work and their charitable involvements and to be here is what Turner's Travels is all about it's try to bring to a wider audience what a versatile world in which we live where cultures can be shared and education can be enjoyed by visiting other parts of the world and documenting events which have worldwide recognition and fame. And Elsamir is very quiet. I'm the only visitor here at the moment. I was here 12 years ago when I was first visiting Kenya and due to the advent of the digital camera I'm inspired to return to some of the highlights of where I've been in the 77 countries I visited and this is one of them. And another film that I've seen which you've obviously seen is called Out of Africa and that was written by Karen Blixham. I think she was from Sweden, an aristocrat and I hope to show you a video of where she lived in the outskirts of Nairobi if I actually get there before I return home on this trip. This is the 360 degree idyllic setting of the tranquil environment at El Samir and Joy Adamson always stated that she was a vehicle in which she would project the memory and the image and the impact of the life of, life of Elsa the lion cub. And I hope at this stage you the viewer have found this video interesting and may even buy the DVD which does actually come with the follow-up film Living Free. I've also got the film To Walk With Lions out of Africa which is on Blu-ray and they really encapsulate the beauty of Kenya and to me Kenya is summed up not by the coast because that's pretty stereotypical of any tropical country but it's the tea picking area of Kericho, the highlands of Kenya Lake Naivasha with its flamingos and its flower factories or farms Elsa the lioness and the Masai Mara which en enraptured my soul when I came here in Christmas 2001. Kenya is a highly recommended for you to visit. Year 8 and Year 10 students all over the British Isles learn about Kenya because it is a special country. And if you come here, you'll see why. Thank you for tuning in to Turner's Travels, August 2014. I'm living in the past.